There are many ways to install a Windows 11 virtual machine on your Apple Silicon MacBook using UTM. However, this video will show you the easiest and the most popular way to do it. So first of all, open up App Store and search for Crystal Fetch and download it. By default you should have selected Windows 11 and Apple Silicon, so just press this button here. This will download the latest Windows 11 ISO, so just wait till that's finished. After that, open up UTM and select Create a new virtual machine. Select Virtualize and then Windows. You should have Install Windows 10 or higher checked and nothing else. Then for Boot ISO Image, click Browse and select your ISO image wherever you have stored it. For memory, you can leave it at 4GB, which would be the bare minimum for the VM. You could also set it to 8GB for a smoother performance, but I'll leave it like this. For storage, depending on what you want to use the VM for, you can allocate how much space you need, but I'll leave it at 64GB. Then click continue and save. Now start it and press any key on your keyboard. This will boot us into the Windows 11 setup menu, so click next until you see this screen. If you have a product key to activate Windows, you can just insert it here. If you don't, just press I don't have a product key. Select whichever Windows you want to install. I will pick the Pro version. Accept the license terms, then click Next. Now you should see this screen, or at least something similar to this, so just wait for it to install. Once your VM reboots, do not press any keys and just let it start. Wait for it to install, and then it will reboot once again. And once again, do not press any keys. Now pick your region and click yes. Select your keyboard layout. Let's skip that. From this point, Windows will try to auto-update itself, but that won't work and we will not be able to proceed further. To fix that, press Function Shift F10 keys and it will open up the console. In the console type this command. This will bypass the auto-update and will restart your VM. Do not press any keys, of course. Then go through all of this stuff again and create your Windows user with a password. Add all of the security questions and click on next. Now you should be greeted by Windows, so just wait for everything to load. Once it's done, you should see this UTM Guests Tools installer, so just quickly install that. If for some reason you don't see the installer, open the File Explorer and click on this CD drive UTM and open the installer manually. Once it's finished, click on finish and it will restart your VM. If you are booted in this screen, then just navigate over to continue and press enter. You can now eject the UTM guest tools from the VM, as they are not needed anymore. And now log in with the password you created earlier. Then adjust the display resolution to your liking and put the VM in full screen. And now you're good to go. The Windows 11 VM is now fully installed and ready to use. Thank you for watching and leave a like on this video if you found it to be helpful.